Welcome to Trust the Process Show, Episode 1. My guest today is a gentleman by the name of Garrison Red. Today, Garrison and I will be discussing the importance of waking up early and including that into your process to achieve more throughout your day. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. So, um, you know, I thought we could just kind of touch on... Uh, you know, just really where, you know, why you, why we get up at 4 a.m., like why we do what we do. Yeah. Well, you want to start or you want me to start? You know, you know what I think I might start with? Because, you know, what I liked about you, Garrison, and why I kind of yeah. got uh, attracted to uh, to your story is, man, you got, so you got some inspirational stuff happening. And Thanks, I thought man. maybe we could uh, just kind of touch on, like, who you are, you know, kind of a little bit what you've been through and kind of lead into, you know, I think part of that probably goes into why you get up at 4 a.m. At right? 4.30, yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, for the viewers that don't know me, um, I'm Garrison Red. I'm a Paralympian. I'm an equal rights advocate, a motivational speaker. I hold many hats, also a model. Um, I suffered a spinal cord injury at the age of 17 from a gunshot wound. Um, and from there on, I just been motivated to like change the world and rid them of all the negativity that goes along in this world. So I get that's part of the reason why I get up at 4 a.m. I want to head start on beating everybody to accomplishing some of my goals throughout my day and just, you know, being productive at 4 and 8 a.m. You got a clear head. Usually if you got like family, they're not up at that time or so it's like you get a good it's like a good time period where you could just work on focusing on whatever your goal is. If you got to, you know, send out emails to different individuals, things like that. I feel like that's the time, the best time to do things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, you know, before before the accident, before you became a Paralympian, yeah. um, were you always getting up at 4 a.m.? Or did that change when this happened? And it kind of changed after the accident because at okay. the time I was like, I'm 17. So I pretty much had like my wake up schedule was like any other 17 year old kid. I don't, I don't want to wake up at seven o'clock to go to school. <laughs> <Absolutely, yeah. laughs> I want to sleep all day. But after the accident, since it takes me a little while longer to do some things, just like regular daily things, um, I felt that if I get up earlier, I could accomplish the same things as someone that got an able-bodied individual that could walk and everything. I could beat them to the punch yeah. if I get up earlier. And that's pretty much what led me to getting up at 4 o'clock. I used to get up at like 6 o'clock, and I'm like, damn, my day, like by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm like, damn, I still got stuff to do. Yeah. If I just wake up two hours earlier, I could be completely done by like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. and right. then. Anything else after one o'clock is just progress, like extra progress. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like that, uh, you know, icing on the cake, if you if you may, right? Yeah, exactly. So, generally, I go to sleep early. Also, though, I go to sleep like nine thirty. I try to stick to my schedule. Like I'm sure. real strict when it comes to it. Yeah. I mean, I break it on the weekends sometimes, especially in the summertime. I might break the schedule here and there, but um, for the most part, I'm stuck to a ri pretty rigid schedule of getting up at four. Cause exactly. I gotta beat everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. And they, so that's that Monday to Friday routine. Really, is at, guaranteed. You're up. Yeah, 4 I'm at four a.m. Monday through Friday, guaranteed. A lot of some Saturdays. A yeah. lot of Saturdays, I'm up at four. I might sleep a little later on Sundays to like seven. Yep. But generally speaking, four o'clock is the time. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, absolutely. Me yeah. Too. Now, um, so for me, like I get up, you know, for my when I I was in the military. Okay. Okay. So, uh, when I originally started, uh, I was kind of that same thing. I, before I went to basic training, you yeah. know, I was up every day at like eight thirty, nine a.m. And I didn't really have a, a really. I think for me, it's I didn't have a vision or I didn't have a goal. And okay. I think as we, you know, for you, you know, you might want to chime in too. But for me, it's like once I had a vision and a goal established, yeah. getting up at four a.m. wasn't a chore. Yeah, it's something you have to do. Like right. it's a part of your schedule. Like <laughs> exactly. So like yeah. when I went to the military, they they forced us to get up at four thirty five. Exactly. Right? And it exactly. sucked. It sucked every minute of it. Sucked getting up and running a few miles. Uh, but it for me, it created that discipline of Dude, like that's you know what, what I was just gonna say. Right. It's it's yeah. it's a discipline that if you learn, um, it can change your life. I agree with that totally. 
so, because um oh you go yeah, yeah. So, 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 so like when i went into like sales so then i got to sales and tech sales once i got out of the military yeah and um for me you know i've always had to stop and I'm like i'm not i dropped out of college right okay at college and um so i, I always had to sing like i'm not the smartest guy in the room but I don't need to be the smartest guy. You don't need to be the smart. It's a problem when you're the smartest guy. In the yeah, absolutely. Right? So it's it's like, really a problem. I could be the hardest worker. And how exactly. could I get there? Well, if I show up two, three hours earlier, that means when my competition is still sleeping, I'm out there already making phone calls. Exactly. See the same like vision. Prospecting, right? <laughs> um, yeah. And you can take that to anything you do. But it's, exactly. I think for it's like determining that why factor, like why the hell should I get up at 4 a.m.? Exactly. I mean, a lot of people think I'm crazy, Yeah. but I wouldn't want it any other way. Okay. Like they say, why you don't get up at like eight o'clock and, and go to sleep later or something or work at night, like do whatever you have to do at night. And I'm like, you know, with the daily routine, there's a lot of things that could change yeah, yeah. throughout your day. So at 4 a.m., not too much can change. There's not too much that's going to affect my day or give me an obstacle. And I don't like putting things behind. So if I can accomplish more by from between the hours of 4 and 6, mm. then I'm golden in my book. <laughs> no, it does. So <laughs> yeah. when you first started, uh, I'd love to hear your kind of thoughts and I can tell you mine. But like, yeah. when you first started getting up at 4, um, was it like all of a sudden – you went from six to four or just for other people listening, maybe watching and they want to do this because it can be difficult, right? If you're used to getting yeah, up at seven exactly. and you're like, Hey, you need to get up at 4 AM. That's a real difficulty. And if we don't set ourselves up for success, we're setting ourselves it's, up for failure. For failure. I agree with that. So what can um, you tell people as they're starting to think about, man, I need to get up early and go out and get it. What would be a good first step for them to get up at 4 AM? First, they have to ease their way into it. So if they are an individual that get up at 7, what I would suggest to them is try going to bed earlier. Um, usually, if you go to bed like at 8, generally speaking, you probably would get up at like 3.30. But stay up. When you get up, just stay up at 3.30. And then slowly you'll get into the routine of getting up at 4. But you got to start by going to sleep earlier. I always tell individuals, you might you can't stay up to 10 o'clock. Like yeah. if you stay up to 10 o'clock, you're going to be beat. If yeah. you try to get up at four and try to go through a whole day. So the best thing to do is try to get in a bed or a little earlier. And then once you start getting on schedule to wake up at four o'clock, you got to have a goal. Like don't wake up at four o'clock and you're just not going to do anything. <laughs> in that case, I would say stay sleep, but you got to have a goal and a vision and whatever, you know, you could plan it out the night before. And once you get up, just get to it and see how it works for you. Because they would definitely see improvement and progress instantly. I guarantee in like one or two weeks, yeah. they would see a change in their lifestyle and everything. And it's actually a stress reliever because it's less pressure you have on yourself throughout the day because you know you accomplished the major priorities. Totally. So that's how I feel. Cool. Yeah, man. yeah absolutely. So for, like, for me, what I think too is um, if you can't go to bed earlier, Right. So if, if, yeah. if some people probably struggle to get up to go to bed earlier because like, man, you know, I'm laying in bed, guys, and I need I know I need to get to bed earlier, but uh, my brain just won't <laughs> shut off. So it's like for me, what I would say for someone like that, too, is um, when you go to bed, say you got to go to bed at 10, set your alarm for 530 for one week. Yeah. Then get That's up at 5, 515 the next the next week and slowly bring it down uh, on that side. So, you know, it's either you go to bed earlier, but if you can't on the flip side. You know, start slowly, you know, even a half yeah. an hour earlier and then 15 minutes earlier. Um, yeah, that's, what yeah I mean. that's a good alternative. Uh -huh. I yeah. like that. And now, like what okay. I've been doing, because I, I was getting up at four, I've been trying to push myself to get up at 3.30 now. Oh, OK. Yeah. It's, it's you see, that's how I started. I yeah. started with the 3.30 and then went to four. <laughs> yeah. So I was like at 3.30, I didn't really need to be up that early. I can use the extra 30 minutes. <laughs> But three thirty is good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Now, yeah. what's the so this question? What's, what's the first thing you do when you get up? You're laying in first bed. Thing, you're up. You know, your your eyes are open. What I check my phone. I check my emails. That's the first thing I do. Really? Okay. I check my emails to see because there'd be a lot of important messages in your email, and people tend to send it 
like later at night I noticed. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I guess it's just the the people I deal with, but um they typically send their emails overnight, like one, two in the morning. And it's a lot of times it's urgent, like for model castings and things, they want a response right then and there or they'll go with the next person. Gotcha. So instead of missing out on an opportunity, I just wake up, check my email, then after that I get out of bed, go brush my teeth. Then pretty much from there I turn on T V see if there's a little new whatever what happened in the news. And from there, I just start my day. I look at what I planned the night before okay. and go prior. And then I, I always prioritize things. So whatever's at the top of the priority list, that's the first thing I do. Get it out the way. And then from there, everything else is like progress and golden after that. So I could focus more on like I have an organization called the Garrison Red Project. Right, so right. I could focus. Yeah. So I could focus more on that once I get all my priorities out the way for the day, like sending emails um invoices whatever the case may be right right so so would you say that planning the previous day is a really important factor for you that's key that's one of the most the biggest keys to having a successful day i feel is to plan it the night before okay and then the step two is to wake up and put it in motion so if you wake up at four there's not a lot of distraction around, so it's so much easier just to just go after your plan for the day. And then by the time the distractions come up, you're almost done with anything you had to do for the most part. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I find that for me, too, is, um, you know, my wife, she's a great lady, and yeah. she's not a 4 a.m. waking up. Right? And, you know, not everyone needs to be, right? No, nah, not everyone. It's not for everybody. Not for everybody. But so for me, my big thing is I have to – I plan my whole day out but i also have to like lay out all my clothes because the last thing i want to do too is wake her up so i literally have all my clothes (laughs) laid out in the kitchen and i get dressed every morning in the kitchen and that's some of the sacrifices i need to make is make sure that i tiptoe through i make sure my family doesn't get up because the last thing i want to do is wake them up yeah but then everything's laid out i get dressed and then it's off to the gym but i I do find that when I have my day planned out. You can get started right away. And exactly. I feel like if it wasn't planned out, and like we mentioned earlier, is if you're up at four and you don't have a direction, you're probably going to sit there in the morning and go, why am I up at 4 a.m.? Exactly. Right. And, that, and that's, that's, that's a, not a great feeling. Being up at four with nothing to do at all, just <laughs> absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, because that's when that's when you start just engaging in things you don't need to be engaged in, having your like either watching something that you don't need to be watching, or you know, you're just wasting time. Totally. And then at the end of the day, you woke up at four o'clock in the morning, so you're gonna get tired later in the day towards like eight, nine o'clock. It's just natural, so. It's not really worthwhile to just wake up and not have anything to do. So I I tell people all the time, like, don't get up at four in the morning if you absolutely have no reason not to. Like, but if you got stuff to do, like what you were saying with sales, like making calls and stuff or, you know, doing a prospectus, I think you was mentioned, Mm -hmm. then that's good. That's great. That's something so you could beat the competition easily. So that's why I understand where you're coming from with that because yeah. it's all about the competition and you want to have a leg up on them at oh, the end of the day. Man, it's, it's, that's, that's kind of the name really in any any competition, whether it be sports, business, whatever it may mm-hmm. be. Um, you know, and then my thing that I've recently been doing um, as I get up and it's made a really huge impact is I lay in bed and the first thing I do is I go through my head of like what I am grateful for. Right. Yeah. And I, I yep. try to practice that art of gratitude um, because, you know, there can be, you know, just waking up is a gift in itself. It's a gift. I tell people that just opening your eyes. So right? each day that you open your eyes, you got to smile for that part. Right. Hey, you know, and it's, yeah. that's powerful shit right there. That's like when you wake up and you're like, I am blessed because I woke up. Exactly. That's a day when you start and you go, man. This today is a good day. Today is a good yeah. day, right? Yeah, exactly. And when you start that energy of like into that day of having being grateful for it, rather than waking up going, "Oh, it's only Tuesday" or "It's Monday." Just you know? being happy to wake up. You don't think of the day as yeah. 
the beginning of the week. You just think of it as another day for you to strive towards your goals. Sure. So that's how I think. As long as I'm helping people, I'm not even looking to what I'm getting. I'm just looking to what more I could give each day. Absolutely, man. And, and it's, yeah. But, but I, you know, you're not doing it from a selfish point of view, it looks like. Exactly. And that's, I think, is what's causing all this greatness to come back to you, right? It's Honestly, I think so. I think that's really it. And I tell people, like, I didn't expect none of this, but I'm just going to continue helping people. And the more I help people, <laughs> whatever I get out of helping, I'll take it. But um, that's not what I'm in it for. I'm in it just to help people. Just okay. that's it. To save lives. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Well, dude, it's been a... Uh... Absolute pleasure speaking with you. I hope we can uh, do another episode soon. Definitely. Uh, stay inside. I'll come up with the next topic. Do it. <laughs> Done, man. I love it. All right, man. All right, Have brother. a good birthday if I don't see you. Yeah, you too. Man. All right. Thanks, All right. brother. Take care.